Hello everyone. Welcome to Teach Tech. This is the third video of VideoScribe software tutorial series. Today we are going to see the overview of the project screen inside the VideoScribe. As soon as you open your VideoScribe, you will see this login screen. Give your username and password. As you log in into your VideoScribe software, you get to see this project screen. This is your project screen where you will see all your local folders, cloud folders and your projects. As you keep on creating lots of projects, you will see all the projects here. The best idea is to arrange scribes into your project folder. In case you have not arranged scribe into the folders, you can see all scribes here. On the top right, you have option of sorting the scribe according to newest or old list or according to name order. You can also filter the project search like if I click on the filter icon then I type a word called computer. Then all the scribe having this word appears. When you done searching you can go back and clear filter. You can also import the scribe file by clicking on the bottom corner of the screen. All the images and audio used on that scribe will also get saved. You can also save your project in the cloud that means in the VideoScribe server as well. One of the coolest feature of VideoScribe is that until and unless you will have your login details, you can log in from any computer that has VideoScribe installed, import your scribe from the cloud and create amazing whiteboard animation from anywhere around the world. You can see all your projects saved in the cloud by clicking on this icon. You can also go to your profile on VideoScribe website and download your scribe from there. Continuing down the line, you can have the default setting icon here where you can fix the default setting for the scribe. Transition time is the time taken to swap between two screens. Default pause time is the time to wait after object appears. Default max draw time is the time taken to draw the object. Image quality is the quality of the imported image. Lastly, there is a question mark icon where you can watch tutorial videos and go to the website as well. That's it for today. In the next tutorial video, we will see about the main layout overview, understanding the canvas, ideal workflow in the VideoScribe software and creating our first project. Until then, signing off. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.